Hey guys, I want to talk about storytelling today. I'm sure you've heard of the point of no return, the all is lost moment or the first and second turning point. Today, I want to focus on the most important plot point in my opinion, the one you need to get right in order to tell a compelling story. The first turning point, also known as the inciting incident. Traditional Western storytelling is often divided into three acts. The first one is referred to as the normal world, where the second is the special world. What catapults your protagonist from the first act into the second act is the inciting incident, an event that prompts your protagonist to go on an adventure. In a detective story, maybe the hero gets a call to investigate a murder. In a love story, maybe a new guy moves in down the street and catches the attention of the female protagonist. I'm not going to go into detail on act breaks and story structure much in this video. I just want to stress that the inciting incident needs to take place pretty early on in the story. As soon as we kind of understand the state of the normal world, who the main character is and what their plans are. Getting to the inciting incident too late is a common beginner's mistake and a major reason why readers put down the book or change the channel. Here's an example. Cinderella is forced to do chores for her older sisters and her evil stepmother. But when an invitation to the royal ball is delivered, Cinderella decides to make a dress for herself and give this dance a chance. Notice how the inciting incident, the invitation delivered to the household, is often a coincidence, something out of the ordinary, barging into the protagonist's life, like an opportunity or an accident, forcing a change of plans. The closer you get to the end of your story, the fewer coincidences you want to have serve as major plot points. You want to have your hero save the day, not have it be a fluke or a piano dropping from the sky. Another story example. Marty McFly is leading a normal teenage life, playing a cool band, hanging out with his cute girlfriend and thinking his parents are pretty lame. When his good friend Doc invents a time machine and Marty accidentally gets sent 30 years into the past, he blah blah blah, you get the idea. Contrast in this movie from the normal world, everyday 1985 life of Marty McFly and the special world, his hometown in the 1950s, couldn't be more obvious. And it certainly sends Marty on a different trajectory than he had planned for himself when the movie starts. That's what the inciting incident is all about. Something out of the ordinary, a cataclysmic event, a catastrophe or a conundrum that catapults your hero into the second act. And without a clear idea what that specific incident is, writing the rest of the story will be an uphill battle. Last tip, when you do write up a pitch or a logline, try using the words but then to introduce the first turning point. If you say and blah blah blah, it just becomes a slog like when kids tell you what happened in school today. But then implies something out of the ordinary happened and that is the inciting incident. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you're interested in more about storytelling and making comics, hop on over to comicsforbeginners.com uh, where you can uh, see more videos like this and find useful resources. You can also sign up for my free comics crash course. It's a seven day course uh, that you sign up by email and uh, get the first lesson right away. 